A grocery store in Vancouver's West Point Grey neighborhood was given notice to remove its friendly feline mascot, a six-year-old cat named Mickey. And customers aren't happy about it. CTV's Kevin Chirac has more on why Mickey was told to move out and the campaign to help the cat come back. At Top 10 Produce, you'll find album covers and comic books on the walls. <laughs> and what some call the perfect mascot named Mickey. We just really enjoyed having him here. He really contributed to a lovely community spirit. It's a clean cat. It's well looked after. It's very, very popular. Not only is Mickey a customer favorite, he also does double duty with pest control. The mice come and then they don't stay. Pests don't mess with Mickey. But after a customer complaint to the health department, this familiar feline face has been ordered to find a new home. It just doesn't make no sense to really anyone, you know what I mean? Except for the, maybe the person who complained. In an emailed statement to CTV News, Vancouver Coastal Health says the operation of food premises in B.C. is a regulated activity under the Public Health Act and an operator must not permit live animals to be on the premises. I really don't see the problem. He controls mice and he's, um, he's just a wonderful addition to the neighborhood. I think it's ridiculous. People who removed Mickey must be out of their minds. But one animal lawyer tells CTV News there might be a loophole. Any other animal that a health officer determines will not pose a risk of a health hazard occurring on the premises. So I would hope that there could possibly be a constructive dialogue between the business owner and the province and to see if there may be some way of having an exception made. McDonald launched a petition to raise awareness and keep his cat in the store, but admits he'll only take the fight so far. I'm not going to risk our business license. For now, Mickey will move to his home two blocks away, but hoping with the right catitude, anything is possible. Kevin Chirac, CTV News, Vancouver.